Hi, this is Rick. Today we're going to talk about building a raider proof worm composter from a food grade barrel. Uh, here's 17 gallons of garden gold worm castings from my own family for one year. We're going to take the barrel that's on the left here and make it like the one on the right. So stand by. Well, I love the long sloping shoulders of summer and uh, these months are just wonderful going into the hot season. So the dogs and I are out here by the fountain in the backyard spa going to uh, talk a bit about how to uh, convert a, a composter or a, a, a food grade barrel into a high quality uh, and I hope raider proof uh, worm bin. For you folks so you don't have to worry about uh, critters getting into your your stores first thing you're going to need is a, a good food grade barrel with a screw top i find mine on craigslist usually cost about twenty dollars you'll notice they smell like olives or pickles inside when you stick your head inside that's the sign of a good food grade barrel you're also going to need uh, some of these screens. You get them at the Home Depot store. You'll notice they're screened on one side. They're light aluminum or uh, tin. You're also going to need a supply of self-tapping screws like these. We're going to cut this um, screen, uh, these uh, vents, into uh, three sections. Uh, they're very lightweight. You could probably cut them with uh, scissors if you don't have tin snips. Uh, if you can cut through a beer can with your scissors, you can probably cut through this. I ended up with eight uh, vents on my barrel, but these screens are only uh, $2 a piece, and so you can afford to put almost as many as, uh, as you can squeeze onto the side of your barrels. Obviously, the more ventilation you have in your barrel, the better. A, uh, sign of a healthy barrel is a, uh, a good clean smelling barrel. If there's bad smells coming out of it, you're probably just not getting enough air. You'll also need a half inch uh, valve of some sort, a tube of silicone, and some of these expanded aluminum gutter covers that are to keep the leaves out. You'll need about a half dozen bricks. These came out of someone's pizza oven project. You'll need a three quarter inch spade bit or wood bit and an electric drill. And here's a rear look at my backyard production crew. Just a chance to look behind the scenes and see what's going on. The people that make it possible. Look through your vents and um, sort them out and make the smallest one your template where you're going to draw the vents on the side of the barrel. Uh, do not be tempted to uh, make one big hole. You want a whole lot of small holes. The three-quarter inch spade bit we're using here will also work well to uh, put in the half-inch spigot. Make sure the screen side of the vent goes against the barrel and then use lots and lots of those self-tapping screws to uh, secure those vents. Okay, here's the finished bottom. Four vents on the bottom, two in the middle, two on the top, and be sure and note the overflow line. Next part of this project is the top. Uh, the center section is called a bung hole. It screws out. You can see that here. Take a piece of the uh, expanded screen, cut off a section, and uh, you're going to screw it on the inside using four screws and you can see one two three four screw tips coming through the top drop your bricks in and uh, use a stick or something to uh, get them all laying flat there will be an awful lot of weight on this uh, on these bricks the expanded metal gutter, gutter material is going to be uh, too long so it's going to, have to be trimmed and then laid in the bottom and this will be the support with a uh, liquid below it and all the uh, worm waste uh, above it. Unfold newspaper and arrange the sheets on top of the bricks and the uh, expanded material and wet it down. You want uh, wet but not sopping. 
Here's a five gallon pail of uh, waste I've been saving for about a week. Uh, the top has a gamma bucket or a gamma lid on it, which is really handy. It screws on, keeps it from smelling, keeps animals out of it. Also good for uh, dog food and all kinds of feed where there might be raccoons or something getting into your food. Uh, then I put down, uh, this is coconut coir. It could be shredded newspaper on top of the, uh, uh, the food. Throw in a handful of worms or actually a bucket full of worms and a little bit of dirt and put some more paper down and wet it on top and we are just about finished. Then screw the lid on, set it on blocks, put a uh, bucket underneath the spout so it'll drain out the uh, leachant and this is what it looks like. Uh, this is in my greenhouse where I have my aquaponics system. I'm not a neat person so uh, you don't have to be neat either. It just needs to be sealed with silicone sealant. And that is the finished project. A finished warm composter, when it's full, will probably weigh about 300 pounds. And being up on bricks, it is a tip hazard. It can crush children, small dogs, uh, maybe even you underneath it. I'll do a, a video on how to uh, empty it later. But I just want you to think about that and be careful as you're working through this project. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching this, Rick.